these are items that I use in this video for my hair and my nails as you guys see the argon oil here just bought this from um, all this stuff from Walgreens um, love these items all right here I am about to show you guys here is a sensitive skin moisturizer um, I just always put on as you see a little bit there just as a base for the makeup um, and it also just it also feels like a lotion too so it makes you feel nice and fresh on your face and here is my liquid makeup from LA color I found it from Dollar General dollar store and I absolutely love it um, they have it is very easy for you to find your color um, so definitely go check that out if you live near Dollar General And right here I am putting on some elf brand concealer I love elf makeup and it is so cheap um, I find it at um, Target I've actually found it at save a lot um, Target is a big place that sells them and here's a Maybelline um, black eyeliner pencil um, I love this um, because it gets dark I like to have you know that darker um, eye pencil and this one seemed to be a very good one um, that I found so this is like the primary one that I use for eyeliner as you see I do the inner parts of my eyelids um, versus like the outside um, I don't know I was just taught to do the insides and that's the way I do it to each his own I know I do like the outside of the eyelid and I do the pencil brush that I found at Walgreens as well. I love the fact that it has a little brush and you can see that it's retractable. Um, start off just brushing my brows in the way they're supposed to go. And then I go through and then I just darken it a little bit. For one side, um, if you, you can tell that one of my eyebrows is um, longer than the other, I like, make the other one kind of match it with the brown um, because my hair isn't um, my the hair on my body isn't too dark it's not black so I like to use the brown go over it again with the brush here just to blend the hairs and the makeup together just kind of like put it all into back into place I like. LA color. I love using LA color from Dollar General. Um, and this is just a, you know, face powder. And I like it to put it over. Um, I like to get a lot of it on the to tell from me wiping it off that a lot gets on the brush. Um, but this is just to make my skin not look so oily and to kind of get the color to pop with the um, discoloration because of my light skin you can see it so and this is another elf product it is a big container of eyeshadows um, but it also has um, like cheekbone bronzers and lipsticks as well and it does also come with different brushes here's some chapstick I like to put that underneath my lipstick it kind of helps the lipstick come off um, later on and there I am touching up again my eyeliner Choosing a color for my eyelids, guys. I love browns and golds. I love natural colors. If you ever see me wear makeup, you will rarely see me use like using bright colors unless I have like a professional doing my makeup. But I love to use browns. I'm using an e.l.f. blender. It's like a it it's a soft bristle um, and elf if you can tell on the outside of the 
Katena Bettis stands for eyes, lips, and face. Um, and as you can see here, I'm adding a little bit of gold to my inner parts of my eye. And I'm just blending it together. And if you can tell, I have a lot of eyeshadow on my hand. I kind of use the color off of the brush when I want to use it for the like using it while it's small it's a lot easier to remove it and I'm just sitting here combing through my eyelashes to kind of separate them from uh, the brand which came in like one of the cheap packs of makeup that you can get from Walgreens for the holidays you know, you buy a big back pack for like 20 bucks with everything in it but I actually really like how it looks with red lipstick so as you can see here I'm just going around and just um, lining the outside of my lips and I always wipe off any access I don't want to look like a clown and then I just do that to blend it all together going back over with my black eyeliner. And here is another LA color, guys. I love it. It is a glitter eyeshadow. And I'm just going to get the same exact brown color that I have on my eyes. And I'm going to put it over it just to give it a little bit of glitter. And I like it because it doesn't have a lot of glitter, but it's enough for you to see. that I twisted them to make them. If that makes any sense. So 
I do it in the opposite direction to, un to untwist them. And then I separate as I go. Um, and what I'm doing here is I, um, I close all the gaps in the back. I like to do that as I go. So then that way I'm not trying to go through all the hair at the end trying to close up um, gaps and stuff like that. So I try to um, sep you know, separate the twist and then you know, sit with my fingers, pull everything apart to get all the holes filled in and stuff in the back. So that's just my technique. Everybody has their different techniques, but I'm going to fill in the holes as I go because that's what I'm And as you can see, I did have an ombre hairstyle, um, but it this isn't a permanent dye. So the more I wash, the more
chose some desserts, guys. Made it fun for my birthday. I sell for $2.99. Beautiful coral color. And the 3D art, um, nail art was actually on sale as well for the same price over at Walgreens. Love it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, like it says on the screen, please go to subscribe and thumbs this video. Please leave me any comments that you guys have.